coolin' shawty, yeah, that's where I stay Heard you was a lame boy, get up out my face And my ex keep calling sweaters Hey everybody, it's Imani Monet. Thank you guys once again for tuning into one of my YouTube videos. Um, right before I start, can you guys give me a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so we can keep these YouTube videos scrolling. And thank you guys for getting my channel up to 11,000 views all together. Like, thank you guys. I can't wait until one of my videos gets 11,000 views by itself. But until then, thank you guys for subscribing and supporting my channel and keeping it living. Okay, thank you guys. So in case you couldn't tell by the name of this video, um, I posted a picture yesterday on Instagram and a lot of people were hitting me up, contacting me, people that I haven't even spoken to in like, a while um they hit me up because they thought that i cut my hair now um i don't know if you guys seen my video that i put the link above but um i actually had a weave in my hair for about six months now i didn't have it in my hair for six months i got it taken out redone added new pieces all that um but my goal was really like hair growth and that's what I've been doing so I went out after I got my um, weave taken out and I bought me this wig because I was watching a whole bunch of tutorials and YouTube videos on it and I've always been obsessed with having short hair but never wanted to commit to actually cutting my hair so I went out and I um, watched a whole bunch of tutorials and videos and I bought this Janet mommy wig now, I actually bought the synthetic version, which I didn't realize until I went home and there's nothing you can do from there. I hate wig shops and beauty supply stores that don't allow you to like, you know, get your money back or exchange. But I get it, it's a wig, it's personal. People like make alterations to them and it's on somebody's head and you don't know the condition of their scalp. So I get it. Um, anyway, I still love this wig. Now, it's in a black color, um, but when you're in the sun, it has, like, hints of brown in it. Um, the only thing I don't like about synthetic hair is that it shines. Um, but what I do to get rid of the shine in the synthetic hair is actually put dry shampoo. Um, my dry shampoo is MIA, but I will tag in the description box where um, what dry shampoo I actually use. And um, how I do it is I spray it like six inches away from my head and rub it all in to give it like a drier look. But make sure you don't like do it too much because like your hair could look dry. Um, <laughs> But yeah, um, this wig was about $30, so it wasn't expensive, but um, at the same time, I still bought the wrong one. But either way, I wanted to give this wig a nice try, and I eventually did. Um, this is my first time wearing like a short hairstyle, period. But a lot of people said that they liked it, and I love it, so I didn't give a flying if anybody liked it or didn't like it um i didn't shape it or cut it i literally just took it out the box and this is it out of the box with me like tussling and messing with it a little bit um i always want to finger waves <laughs> and as a girl with curly hair curly natural hair um i was never able to get finger waves because my hair would just curl back up no matter if I don't know no matter the product that they use no matter anything like over so many years that I've wanted finger waves I'm never able to get it because of this but this is a finger wave hair style so um, I went for this and I love the way that the hair goes and I love the way it sits and it made me actually wear like my earring jewelry I don't really wear earring jewelry often or a lot of jewelry period but this made me want to bring out my energy but 
Um, I think I might cut the sides shorter just so, I don't know. I, that's why I haven't done it yet because I love the way it looks and I don't want to like mess it up. And I feel like I really will if I cut it. But around the ear, I literally trimmed it once. And then I was like, let me stop. Because you can't add more hair on, you can only take it away. So I try to do things little by little to make sure that I don't mess it up. But you can do it with these shears. And um, where is my little, uh, I style it with this little spray bottle and I spray, spray, spray and mess it up. And in the back, it looks a little duller than it does in the front. So I don't really um, worry about the shine so much in the back. Same on the side. I love the fact that this wig, this mummy wig, um, comes with like a guided hairline. Like it goes like my hairline exactly. So it's really cool in that aspect. And I style it, spray a little water. But I don't want to get it too wet because I already did that this morning. Um, and yeah, and like I pick some of this hair out or do that type of thing but I like it like more like fluffy in the middle just how I like it and that's why I want to cut these sides down a little bit because they keep like going up and I'm not asking them to <laughs> but yeah I really really like this wig and I hope you guys like it too I'm gonna definitely get another one Allergies. I think it's allergies though. Zyrtex. Popping Zyrtex like candy. Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna get this wig in the human hair and probably in another color. Um, I was thinking, what I You guys tell me if I should get it in blonde. Um, I actually saw it in pink as well, like the Rihanna pink. Like, you know when Rihanna was at that basketball game and she came out of nowhere with that white tee with her little nipples and Yeah, I was thinking about that. So, I don't know. I might get it in pink. Um, but thank you guys for following, commenting, and subscribing. And for this bodysuit, ooh, for this bodysuit, um, check out my website, politesociety.us. Shameless plug. And once again, thank you guys for following and commenting and subscribing. Thanks. Bye. Shorty wanna fuck me, but I just got some top. I can't fuck with up.